Look at this incredible star that's just been captured in near-infrared light by JWST's NERCAM instrument. Well, actually, it isn't a star yet. This is a star still in the process of forming, something we call a protostar. The details of this process have been hidden to us until now, but with JWST's huge mirror that captures infrared light, we can finally see the secrets hiding in these dusty regions of space. Within the Taurus star-forming region of the Milky Way galaxy, 460 light years from Earth, a brand new star is forming in and from this cloud. Normally, the huge amount of dust and gas in this cloud blocks the light from reaching us. Dust is very good at scattering the visible light that telescopes like Hubble can see, preventing us from seeing what's happening deep inside. JWST, however, sees longer wavelength, infrared light, which scatters less and is better at getting through the dust and letting us see the birth of a star in more detail than ever before. These clouds look like a blazing inferno, with blues and oranges streaming away from this hourglass-shaped cloud. These colours outline cavities created as material is pushed out of the centre, away from the protostar, by protostellar winds. It collides with surrounding matter and starts to glow as it heats up. The different colours tell us how thick the surrounding gas is. The bluer the area looks, the thinner the dust is in that area, while thicker dust prevents bluer light escaping and so glows a more orange colour. The protostar itself is hidden within the neck of the hourglass, and we can see an edge-on protoplanetary disk in the very centre, as light from the fledgling star leaks above and below it. This disk is the material that's falling onto the protostar, helping it grow into a star and eventually start to burn brightly. It's basically an accretion disk for a star. The leftover material in this disk, once the star is formed, could well go on to form planets too, in the far future. This system is pretty young for a star, only about 100,000 years old, but this is basically what our solar system would have looked like about 4.6 billion years ago. The disk we can see is in fact about the size of our solar system, so the comparisons aren't too far-fetched, and its density is perfect for planets to one day form. Who knows, this could be the place where new life in the universe will be born, although I suspect that won't be possible for a long time, as a stellar nursery like this is a very violent and energetic place as all the gases collapse down and fusion starts to ignite the star. It will one day burn brightly like our own sun, and to reach that point, a lot of energy needs to be thrown into the star. This system is actually so young that astronomers call it a class zero protostar, which is those in the earliest stage of formation. I should say that the protostar isn't yet ignited. It's not yet burning hydrogen through fusion, so it's not a full star yet. However, it's well cocooned in thick dust, and will keep gathering mass as that dust falls onto the protostar. It's currently between 20 and 40% the mass of our sun, and as it continues to gain mass, it will eventually be massive enough to start fusion and burst into life as a full-fledged star. It will also become more stable in shape as it grows. While it is already mostly spherical, it's still changing a lot and evolving and shifting as it grows. It's basically a small, puffy, hot ball of gas right now. We can see it gaining mass in the image as it feeds on the accretion disk, raising the temperature and causing the whole scene to glow. JWST is also showing filaments of molecular hydrogen streaming away from the protostar. This shocked material, as it blasts through the cloud, actually makes it harder for other stars to start forming in this cloud. It's hard for any other clump to start collapsing when they're all being pushed outwards all of the time. This means that, likely, all of this material will be available to feed the one star in the middle, in an interesting process that almost resembles a survival of the fittest natural selection. As always, the background of this image is stuffed full of background galaxies too, because JWST is so good at collecting light that it refuses to take an image with a blank background. It's absolutely stunning, and I hope you think so too. Enjoy the view, and subscribe if you're new. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye!